Snake room is looking pretty damn good right now, okay? We got a lot of stuff, switched around, moved around. A lot happened today. We sold some snakes, we went and picked up some snakes. We got all kinds of fun shit going on, right? So, I figured I'll show you guys some stuff while I try and get the majority of stuff done because it was a lot of work today, so I didn't want to film everything. So I just decided that I could try and get a fair amount done. And then I can show you guys the aftermath of it. I'm walking back and forth. Let me grab my hook. Let me open this little cage, right? So we're gonna explain this in a minute. But for now, let's just pull this snake out. This is my little red-tailed green rat snake. Her name is Ozzy. Um, and Ozzy, I bought her as a captive bred and born. Red-tailed green rat snake. She's Malaysian locality. And uh, she's been staying in a little bin. Because the humidity is real simple, she's real small, so she's been staying in a little Ziploc bin. But now I got one of these cages, which is pretty fucking sweet, right? So it's a little plastic cage, and it's a front opening cage, right? So the hinges are right here. And I just got these sticks from out in the back, actually, from a tree. And then I baked them in the oven for a little while. Hella cool. Alright, so a little front facing cage. So let's just close this for a minute just so I can explain. Alright, so I locked those there. And bam, Ozzy's in a cage. So basically this is a, a plastic cage, right? This is a clear plastic. But I haven't been using it because when I bought it at an expo, it had two thick pieces of film over this clear PVC, right? So you couldn't see through it, so it was foggy. So I thought when we opened it that we just kind of got gypped because it wasn't that much. So I was thinking these little fucking whatever, you know what I mean? They sold me this cage and it wasn't even the right thing. Well, figured it out today that there's two pieces of film really thick on this to protect it. So I was able to peel that off and then before you know it, you have a see-through cage. So I figured this would be a perfect cage to put the sweet little red-tailed green rat snake in. It holds humidity well because it's plastic. There's only a few holes in the front. And then there's that little top opening part on the very top. But I'll never really use that part. Maybe to feed it. But then again, the front facing is so easy that you can just feed it through there. Pretty hyped on that cage. Just the look of it is sick. And then I also have like a little lamp. So when it's winter time, I need to warm it up. I can just hook it to the top, get some light in there. And then it's gonna outgrow that cage pretty quick too, so that's pretty sick. Moving on, okay? This one, I went to the store today and I picked up this little, I think this is a zoo, uh, zoo med cage. So, there might be glares looking through the glass, but it's basically just a, a foot by foot by foot cage. It's front opening, so you pull that little lever down. All right, I'm gonna be careful opening it because there's a rattlesnake in it but just like that, and the top is closing, you can see it's a little white speckled rattlesnake in there. But I love this little setup, right? So I got the aspen down there, I got the water bowl, and then uh, the store had sweet new plants, right? It had them orange, orange and green leaves on it. So we got those sweet little plants. Um, I had to put some stickers on it, of course. Uh, FTL Colt, gotta represent. And then the backdrop on there, so it's pretty sweet looking. And then, uh, yeah, that's just the start. I'm gonna get probably like another little thing for it to climb on, but that's a cool little cage setup that I got going on there. What else, what else, what else? Okay, I fed the big boa today. Got a big old large rat. Uh, fed the boa, so the boa's doing great. Can't really see in there, but. Um, I do have to soak Charles Manson, so we're gonna soak him in this bin. I got some fresh water in there, and then I got these two bins that we're gonna soak to the other Kribos too. Stick inside of, what's his name? Slick Rick, Schizo Rick. Right, so I redid his cage. So his cage is pretty sweet. Um, took out my other little thing that I had built for him. Put some little hide rocks on there. Uh, sweet little branch. Some fresh water in there, he's loving it, okay. I got this cage that is set up, right? But I haven't put a snake in it yet. So that one's ready to go for someone. I also have this vision cage ready to go for someone. And then I got a fuckload of empty spots in the rack. 
Okay, I've sold quite a few. If you have me on Instagram, that's how I'm making all these deals. And this shit's actually going pretty quick, so shout out to everyone who's actually hitting me up uh, and actually following through. A lot of people have hit me up and not followed through, um, but there's a ton of people. I've got rid of a fair amount of snakes right now, pretty quick. So we're on a fucking roll, and uh, we're going to keep it moving. Out with the old, in with the new. What are we going to go to, baby? What's next? Oh, I guess we can just pull out Charles Manson. Mm -hmm. So I got my nice stack of bins right there. So these are all clean. Those are all clean too, except for this one. This one's dirty, you gotta change that. Gotta have extra bins, okay? Go to Walmart and go fuck up that bin aisle, okay? It's fun. You can thank me later. They got all different shapes and sizes. Just talking about it is getting me excited about it. You know, I'm trying to go to Walmart right now and fuck that bin aisle up. Walmart, you know what's up. You guys know me there. We have to soak him. He's in shed, so he was just foggy uh, like two days ago. And then uh, I just fed him two big old fish today. So I'm gonna be kind of easy pulling them out. Um, I'm not just gonna reach in there and grab them, you know what I mean? I don't want him to regurge. Every once in a while he, we, he'll regurge. Usually if I feed him a snake, for some reason he'll regurge it, which is weird. So I'm gonna be careful since he just ate the fish. So the fish that I fed him, I don't know the name of it, but it smells fucking disgusting. And it smells the same, actually it smells worse coming out than it does as a regular fish, but it really stinks. And um, preferably I would like to get Different bin to soak the creepos in. A trash bin would be perfect. Um, voila! Charles Manson in the bin. He's gonna soak. Let him soak for a while so he has a good shed. We also gotta clean this cage. That way it doesn't stink, but yeah. Fish. Crebo eating fish, then coming, yeah, it's disgusting, okay? So we gotta try and stay on that. That way it doesn't stink this place up. One Crebo soaking. What other Crebos are we gonna soak? All right. Little yellowtail Crebo. We're gonna let her soak right in there. Do damn that snake looks so fucking cool in there. Look at that. It's amazing. I love it. This whole little setup just right here. Like these four cages, I'm loving it right now. And I've had a few people hit me up for Schizo Rick. I was gonna sell them. But honestly, I'm getting so fired up, especially after today. Today was a very big accomplishment, and I'm not gonna say what it is, but if you know, you know, and not too many of you know. So I guess that's really me and you, huh? Because we're just keeping our little secret. Secrets are fun. You guys can't know about that. But yeah, big fucking accomplishments today, and it's got me fired up. And I want to get a lot more done in here, as well as keep dialing everything in, because I want to keep putting more attention onto the stuff I want to put more attention onto. You know what I'm saying? One more snake to soak. Yeah, still got some dry scales on top. Oh, shit. That's gonna make you poop. All right, okay, we just got this tank set up now. Right, so I moved some of the branches, put it in there, just sprayed it down. I mixed some forest floor and some aspen, uh, fresh water, and uh, this cage is looking good to go, right? So I don't have the glass doors on it. I figured you guys could see it the best with no glare. And then um, now we can put the snake in there. I'm excited to get this snake inside of a cage.
So I just fed her uh, yesterday. So she had two hoppers yesterday. So I'm gonna be gentle with her. Like I always am. Whoa, she's actually big enough to hook and tail right now. What the hell? Sweet. Little Spilotes, tiger rat snake. Growing like a weed. Let's get you in a cage. She's been in uh, one of these racks the whole time I've had her. So now we're gonna get her to be able to climb a little bit. It's not the highest cage in the world. So this is what, 18 inches high? So it's still plenty. So yeah, cool little cage for the Spilotes now. It's never been in one, and it's already a pretty shy eater, so it doesn't gotta eat off tongs for me. I usually have to just leave it in there. Um, I got a Rodent Pro order coming in on Tuesday, which is in two days. So I'll just be able to leave them on a little dinner plate for her, and she could just eat them off that. That way I don't leave any live mice in there for her. Bam, get her into a cage. Lock, right? Doesn't need to be locked, no, but it has locks on them, so you might as well fucking lock it. And then, um, yeah, man, pretty sick. I don't want to put a hide in there for her because there's plenty of spots to hide. Why would I put a little rock for her to hide under and then you can never see her? She has all this. These vision cages, they have lips underneath it, and you can get underneath all back behind this, okay? She can bury in the substrate, she can get up on there, she can hide back in the corner. They're in this room. Nothing goes on in here, okay? They're good. They don't need the little hide box in there. If the snake is eating and pooping, doing everything it needs to do, then fucking relax, it's fine. You got anything else for them? Pretty sweet little uh, updates, right? It's nice to move away from the rack system for a little bit, focus a little bit more on cages. You notice I go back and forth. So you, all those people that just say, oh yeah, you put it in a rack, paper, no substrate, the snakes hate it. I shouldn't even go on about back and forth, okay? Look how cool that fucking thing is. Look at him just chill up there. Damn, it's a her. Yeah, pretty sweet little updates, okay? Everything's feeding. Everything's eaten. Everything's growing. Let's see if we can get Slick Rick out of the enclosure without biting my fucking hand. There you go. Come on, Slick. Come hang out. Slick Rick, you little schizo dragon, so he's full of food. He's growing too. Which is pretty damn cool. He's growing and his nails are getting sharper. Gotta love it. Sick little dragon. If you hit me up wanting to buy them, I don't even know if I want to sell them anymore because I'm pretty hyped on them. I think that's all I got for you guys, alright? So, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm Schmo. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Give me a thumbs up if you made it this far in this video. I think that's all I got. Y'all can get out of here now.